So how many of you love spending time underwater? Whether it's swimming in your local pool or if you live right on the beach of a massive ocean, there seemingly is always something unknown or unexpected popping up out of the water. Well, that's exactly where we're going with today's video called They Couldn't Believe Their Eyes When They Saw This. Want to become part of the Supreme Team? Make sure to subscribe down below with notifications on so you don't miss anything we post each day. Let's get rolling, the fin whale. So before we get into the next topic, we just wanted to take a quick moment and send a special shout out to one of our viewers, Sandra Montanez. Just recently, she said, you rock top Supreme, hashtag Supreme family. Hey, Sandra, thanks a lot for the comment, and more importantly, thanks for hanging out with the Supreme. All right, moving into our next clip for today, check this one out. How many of you out there have heard of the fin whale? Well, if you haven't, don't worry about it. Neither had I before I started doing my research. But the fin whale is amazing, and here's just a couple reasons why. For starters, you probably didn't know that this is the second largest animal in the world. Yeah, it comes second only to the blue whale, which we actually just talked about in a recent video. Unfortunately, however, the fin whale is also considered to be an endangered species because of worldwide whaling that may or may not be the most legal thing to do in the world. Another more fun fact about this big group is that the females of this species are actually a little larger than the males, with the guys coming in at an average length of 62 meters, while their lovely lady counterparts are usually around 65 meters. And to take it one step further, there are documented cases where the females have grown as long as 82 to 88 meters long. Lastly, if you've never heard the word fin whale before, then maybe you've heard of the Razorbacks, because that's another nickname that these giant aquatic creatures are known to go by. The Japanese Spider Crab. All right, guys and gals, let's keep it moving. Up next, we have one of the ugliest, creepiest, weirdest. Do all those words mean the same thing? Anyway, creatures found anywhere in the water. Meet the Japanese Spider Crab. For starters, this guy can reach up to five and a half meters or 18 feet from claw to claw. That makes it the biggest crab in the world. But all that length doesn't equate to ferociousness with this gentle giant, as you're much more likely to scare a Japanese spider crab away if you stumble upon one while doing a little deep sea diving. Still, that doesn't take away from how truly beautiful, albeit slightly scary, these things look. So let me ask you something. After seeing all that, who's in the mood for some crab legs? The biggest opa ever caught. Keeping things moving right along here today, check out this next story. So there's a rumor going around on the internet that a very, very, very large animal was caught from the water. And while the fishermen were deciding whether or not to throw the large fish back into the water, it died. Angering scientists who wanted to study it around the world. This thing right here, what's only known as a rare giant opa. Now, the reports are that this fish weighed close to 1.2 tons, which, for those of you keeping count at home, is absolutely monstrous. Anyway, after these fishermen in Russia allowed the massive fish to die, they still weren't sure what to do with its body. You can't just throw a 2,000 plus pound dead fish back into the water, right? Right. So they did what they considered to be the next best thing. They fed it to the bears. At least that's what's been rumored to be the outcome. So I know we have viewers from all over the world. Has anyone who lives or visited Russia ever heard this story? Weird, right? Unknown fish. Up next, we have what some experts are calling, due to a lack of a better term, a mutant fish. Yeah, you gotta see this. So Japan underwent a massive tsunami not too long ago. And as a result, as one could probably suspect, their ecosystem and wildlife habitats were thrown into a complete disarray. One of the areas most affected was around a nuclear power plant that due to the tsunami and an earthquake had to have the immediate surrounding area evacuated completely. Unfortunately for the marine life though, there was no way to evacuate the animals living underwater. As a result of nuclear waste literally occupying the homes and breathing space of these poor animals, Multiple weird and funny looking creatures began popping up, including this guy. What the heck is that? This very large fish has a huge head and apparently zero teeth. And that big black eye looks extremely weird. No official name for this guy, so I guess if you want to take your best guesses as to what you think the name of this fish should be, then go right ahead. The Blood Belly Comb Jellyfish 
Up next on today's countdown is a very peculiar sea creature that most people have never heard about, let alone seen. It's called the blood belly comb jellyfish, and it is remarkable for a multitude of reasons. First of all, comb jellyfish are typically found on the surface of the ocean, and they love floating in nice warm waters. While there are over 100 documented species of this kind of jellyfish, there's one in particular that has astounded scientists for years, and that is the blood belly. Not only is the deep red color almost hypnotic in a sense, researchers marvel at this animal's ability to produce this beautiful light throughout its body. Crazy, right? The first known version of this particular jellyfish was discovered in 1979 in San Diego, California. So have any West Coasters seen this rare breed? The Hailstorm from Hell. Let's switch it up just a bit for this next one as we find ourselves on a Russian beach on a very hot summer day. And when they say that it was a hot summer day, we mean it was one of the hottest days of the entire year. And this footage is from 2014. Out of nowhere, a freakish hailstorm springs up and forces the relaxed vacationers into a frenzy. And rightfully so. Can you imagine going from laying under the sun catching some rays to running for your life from what seems like rocks and pebbles falling out of the sky? Another beach story. Let's stay on the beach for just a few more moments as we find ourselves on Okaloosa Island in Florida. Before we move on, what would you do if you found yourselves alone with a shark? Yeah, seriously. A bunch of beachgoers rushed to the edge of the water to see splashing sharks that found themselves washed up on the shore. The sharks weren't very large, but still, we all know that the wild nature of this unique sea dweller can go off in an instant, and especially if they're aggravated. In the video, you can see one woman get close up to the sharks. She even, and I have no idea why anyone would do this, but she even splashed the sharks with some water. Yeah, I guess she thought that putting some water on this animal that lives 100% of its life underwater was going to do something. But yeah, luckily in this instance, there were no recorded injuries, neither to the people or to the animals. Wild Killer Whale We've seen a little bit of everything on today's episode, haven't we? We've introduced you to species of animals that most people never would have guessed existed and also shown you some pretty intense encounters between humans and the life in the sea. We'll continue with the latter in this next clip that features a kayaker that stumbles upon a pod of killer whales. The kayaker claims that there were at least 30 whales all around, seemingly just playing around as they passed through the open bay. The person in the video seems relatively calm, considering so many massive animals are all around. But how do you think you would react in a situation like this? I mean, I'm no punk but I think I'd be sweating bullets right about now. The kayaker even claims that one of the killer whales looked directly at her while she passed underneath the kayak. Talk about a close encounter. Gone fishing. Well, hey there, welcome to the final clip of the day. Check this one out. A group of guys are out fishing on their boat in the summer of 2017. They're out in Cape Cod Bay in Massachusetts when something, all of a sudden, starts biting at the end of one of the lines. The seasoned fisherman is taking his time reeling in the catch, and just as his younger friend goes to help out his buddy, a giant shark, what some are calling a great white, leaps right out of the water, snatching the bait off the line and swimming away with their catch. Well, crazy, right? Can you imagine that happening to you in real life? And did you see the guy's reaction as the giant shark sped up in the air? Some real hang time on that one, and the guys in the boat all reacted just a little bit. Ultimately, no one was hurt, even though they did have to rebate that line. No word on how much fish they actually caught that day, but they'll always have a story about that one that got away. By the way, if you enjoy watching our videos, trust me, you will also love The Brilliant. So go ahead and check it out. You won't regret it. And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again. Now, wait, before we finish up, did you forget to drop your comments down in the comment section? What, you did? Then go ahead and talk to us right now. We love hearing from you. Plus, it helps us to figure out what stories we should keep and which ones we should stay away from. So don't hesitate. Don't even think about it. Just go comment right now.